Apple coming up with future products be like is finally here. Make sure you hit the video with a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of the video was, and turn those post notifications on if you haven't already. If we get 200,000 likes, I'm gonna make a part two. And shout out to Isaac, Julian, Francis, and Ellis Brown for being the first three people to like and comment on my last video. Also, I got a big announcement for y'all. I am going on tour. I've been planning this since last year, but you can finally get your tickets now at XMTour.com. I'll be performing my music like Trap the Little Pigs, TikTokin, and the XM Household album, and my parodies, and a bunch of other fun stuff like a live Kahoot session, giveaways, and stuff like that. And every ticket comes with a meet and greet, so as long as you get a ticket, I'll be meeting you. Now, as for the cities, I'll be going to Orlando, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Dallas, of course, Toronto, Chicago, Hartford, Connecticut for a city show, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. You can get your tickets now at XMTour.com. I'm going to have the link in the description. And I know about the coronavirus thing going around right now, and I'm not going to have a single show until it's safe. The date should still work since the first show is not until three months from now, but if it's not, then I'll definitely be postponing the shows and your ticket will apply for the new show. Or if you can't make the new date, then you can get a full refund. But for the time being, it's looking like it's going to work out. I'm crazy excited about this thing, and I hope you guys can come. Remember, XMTour.com, link in the description. And by the way, DM me a screenshot if you get a ticket so I can post it on my story. Enjoy. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Cook? Huh? Oh, hey, Kyle. You ready for your first day on the job? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Kyle, can you be a little more professional with the attire, please? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, my bad. There we go. Now, come on. You're just in time for the new AirPods pitch. Okay, perfect. All right, Bob, this is Kyle. He'll be joining our product development team here at Apple. You have the new AirPods prototype ready? Yes, sir. Introducing the well-anticipated AirPod 3s. With a stunning new design and the advanced cloud technology, the device is- Wait, why would you make the AirPods that small? They're hard enough to lose as it is. Which is exactly why we teamed up with Tile to make the Apple earring. See, now you can be stylish and secure for only $99 more. That's the dumbest- I love it! I beg your pardon? It's everything we stand for here at Apple. Simple and expensive. I, I mean, uh, innovative. It's just an AirPod with the bottom part cut shorter. How'd y'all even come up with your AirPod designs in the past? Hey, don't worry about that. Okay? What were you thinking for the tech upgrades, by the way? Oh, how about we make them like the AirPod Pros? But a little bigger and in black. Why would anyone buy that? Why would- Did you not hear the new black design part? That's like 50% more cloud right there. Plus we can add a broke people translator feature so they can still understand all the non-AirPod 3 wearing people. See, now you're thinking big. Kyle, you could learn a thing or two from this man. Oh my- Well, okay. What if we ditch the broke translator and start working on improving the sound quality instead? Kyle, that's strike one. What? Mr. Cook, you're folding like a Motorola right now. Come on, get your inner Steve going. How much are we charging for the AirPod 3s, by the way? Oh, just $350. $350? No one's going to pay $100 more just for a different color and a translator. Oh, hold up, hold up. You don't have the AirPod 3s? No. What is wrong with- Come on, kids. You shouldn't have to see this indecency. Okay, what's next? Uh, oh, how much should we charge for the Apple couches? The what? Oh, it's our new technology for a luxury level comfort for the AirPods, allowing them to rest in your ear for hours on end without fatigue. What do y'all think, $50? Oh my- You can't sell some earbud covers for $50. You know, Kyle's got a point. $50 just wouldn't be right. Thank you. $50 each is more like it. Thanks for catching that, Kyle. Oh my- Can't we just include them with the new AirPods? You know Android would- Hey, watch the language! We don't use the A word around here. Um, you know what? We'll come back to it. What's next? I'm glad you asked. I'd like to introduce you to the iPhone 12 Pro. Isn't that just the last iPhone with more cameras? No, it's not. Hey, this is revolutionary technology here. The device comes with a 50% bigger and more breakable, I mean, uh, durable screen as well as a- Does it come with a charger that doesn't break as easily or expandable storage for when people run out? <laughs> of course not. But on the bright side, it's got more emojis. The charger and screen are sold separately, by the way. Oh, um, that's barely any different from the last iPhone. Hey, this is a piece of the future. Okay? The people need this. If you think you know so much, I heard the Genius Bar's hiring. You know what, Bob? I'm going to show you an innovation. I'm going to show you oh, something really innovative. I'm about to Tim Cook you oh, up with your dusty Okay, Android that's why one. you look like a track phone with your... All right, all right. Settle down, y'all. It's just a prototype. We can adjust it. Any suggestions? What if we had a bigger battery so the battery life actually lasts all day? <laughs> Do we look like Blackberry? Talk about some all-day battery life. I think you're thinking of the wrong fruit here. But... Uh, whatever. Oh, I know. Hear me out. But what if we add another camera and make it blueberry colored this time? Someone get this man a race. Now, that's the innovation I'm talking about. Kyle, you're taking notes on this guy, right? Oh, this better be some screen. Let me test it out with some Star Wars or something. Oh, we don't allow Star Wars to play on our devices anymore. Yeah, we don't mess with droids here. Whatever. Hey, this is out of storage. I thought it was a brand new 512 gigabyte edition. Oh, it is. It's just to get all the features on the new iOS, we had to take up a little bit more space. How much space does it take up? Oh, just, uh, <clears throat> 510 gigabytes. 500? What's on the new iOS that takes up that much space? Did y'all add airdroppable battery or long distance wireless charging or something? <laughs> of course not. We needed it for all the new emojis. Isn't the koala so cute with the little nose and the- Oh my, you can't sell an iPhone with only two free gigabytes. Which is why we have upgrade options for one to two terabyte iPhones starting at $2,500. That's as fair as it gets for a piece of the future. No, it's- Mr. Cook, you can't be okay with this. Yeah, Kyle's right. Something about this new iPhone just isn't doing it for me. Thank you. We should take out the new hand emojis and work on a more efficient low power mode. Then we should- How about we take away the lightning port? What? Yes! That's the forward thinking we need here at Apple! 
You ever thought about being CEO one day, Bob? Mr. Cook, you can't just force everyone to buy Bluetooth headphones and wireless charging mats. Okay, Zoomer. Look, you gotta live by our mission statement here. Create problems, sell a solution. I mean, uh, find problems, create a solution. In 2100, they'll thank me. Sir, don't you think that maybe if we make products that are made for 10 years from now, but break in one to two years, that maybe it's not the best idea to make them? You know, you have a point. I, I mean, I know what I'm doing. Okay? As they say around here, if it ain't broke, drop a new product till they are. I, I mean, hold up. Just forget it. Do y'all have any other decent products that you're working on? Well, we're close to announcing the Apple Car. The Apple Car? Yes, sir. It features retina screen, midnight green seats, and... How's the drive? I mean, it does the job. Does the job? Why would I pay $100,000 for something that does the job? Did you not hear me say it has a retina display? Do you want a car or a lifestyle here? Oh, um, you know what? Let me test drive it before I say anything. I'm glad you came to your senses. Here are the keys. Thank you. Wait, the car's on 10%. That's strange. You at least gave the car all day battery life, didn't you? Of course we did. Okay, good. As long as you don't drive it. If you drive it, it's more like two hours, but we gotta power that in-car retina display somehow, you know? Oh, okay, how about we add true all day battery life and at least add some windows? Hey, you need to Apple watch your mouth, Kyle. We don't use windows here. But we do have the option to install iPads with the cameras on and the window frames so you can see out. The seats and steering wheel are sold separately, by the way. You know what, that's it. Hey, where are you going? You haven't even seen the Apple Shoes pitch. No, no, I think I've seen enough here. Y'all haven't listened to a single one of my ideas or made a single real innovation, so you know what? I quit. Hey, hold on now. Oh, let me guess. You want to make an Apple membership program with perks like gold text message bubbles and a free glass of Apple water for $500 a month. Now that's what I call tapping into your inner Steve. Bob, write that down. Kyle, you might have a future here. What is wrong with... You know what? I'm out. I'd rather innovate how to pay these bills than innovate this nonsense. Well, suit yourself. We'll see how many girls stick around when they see those green text bubbles pop up. My bad, I thought this was Samsung. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Kyle. I heard you had a job opening. Oh, yes. Apple just wasn't doing it for you, huh? Yeah, I just couldn't. <laughs> what is it that you said that Apple was doing for the new product, by the way? Uh, well, they were working on some weird little AirPods in black and- Tim, write that down. Already on it. Wait, are you taking that idea? Whoa, 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 we have ethics here at Samsung. Okay. It's just that our Sampods just happen to have the same design. Are y'all serious? Don't you have your own original ideas? Hey, of course. This is Samsung, where everything that Apple's missing. Is that where you got your logo from? Uh, you ask a lot of questions. You know that? Okay, whatever. Can we just start pitching our ideas for your new Android? Of course. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking we could work on making the software less glitchy and the photos less pixelated so that we can- How about we make the screen bigger and foldable in the fourth this time? Now that's the Android mindset we need around here. What a genius. I mean, a uh, smart man. Kyle, you were lacking with that glitch idea, though. We need something that's gonna blow up like the Galaxy Note, not all the other blue bubble thinking. But, uh, <clears throat> what else did you say they had going on over there at Apple? You know, for, uh, inspiration? So I chased Epic down, wanted some bacon, so I had to go to his big brother's house and I blew that thing down. Little Red Riding Hood didn't ride home, so I'm after you now. I'm a real alpha wolf, this ain't little bo peep. Don't try and cry wolf, I ain't here for no sheep. No McDonald's money, so y'all are my treat. And if we